Hello folks, uh, it's Manuel from Astro Deck. I apologize uh, for this uh, setup, but um, uh, this is the only space that I have available right now. I usually uh, use my deck uh, where I do my recordings uh, for the channel, but um, uh, I cannot do it now. Anyways, I just want to talk to you guys uh, about uh, the Orion Atlas EQG Equatorial Mount. I have uh, purchased this mount in 2010 from KW Telescope. It is a fantastic mount. It is uh, very solid and sturdy. I, I like it a lot. And I have used it uh, extensively with uh, very good results. I also have uh, had questions about this mount, about the payload. And um, I have used it uh, for planetary imaging uh, with a C11. The Celestron C11 Edge. Uh, let me show you here the 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 OTA, the telescope, and that is a, a, a C11. And I think um, uh, this setup uh, works perfectly. Uh, the mount and the and the C11 it works very well. Uh, the manufacturer of this telescope, oh, sorry, of this uh, mount, uh, Orion, uh, indicates that the payload capacity for this mount is um, 40 pounds. Uh, I think it is quite right. Um, the, the OTA, the telescope, the C11, actually weights about 22 to 23 pounds. So there is a lot of... Um, uh, <clears throat> Uh, excess of uh, payload that I can use uh, and I have attached um, other astronomic items uh, such as a CCD, a CCD camera, um, uh, a guiding uh, telescope uh, with uh, the guiding camera, a, also my planetary camera which I will show you guys at the end of the video uh, along with um, some images that I planet both planetary images and a deep sky uh, image, I image of the uh, Orion Nebula, the core of the Orion Nebula where the trapezium, trapezium is um, that I captured recently using a QHY uh, 163C CMOS, cold CMOS camera. Um, I will turn the mount on um, in one second because I want, the, I want to show you folks uh, how easy it handles the the Celestron uh, C11 uh, telescope uh, that will give you an idea basically how how the, it handle it. Okay, so I'll show you that in a couple of seconds. Okay, guys, uh, now that the mount is powered on, I'm going to show you how the mount handles the payload of the C11 in both uh, right ascension and uh, declination. Okay, so give me one second guys, and let's gonna get it done. Okay, so let's gonna start with the declination. And as you could hear folks, uh, the mount is very quiet. Uh, I like it um, very much. I had a Celestron uh, CGM before. Uh, both have the same uh, motor, but uh, the Celestron was a, was a little bit noisier than this one. Um, let me see it on the other side. And again, very quiet. And the mount, most uh, importantly, it doesn't struggle you see is very solid okay so now I'm going to do the right ascension again very solid and quiet Now 
Now, uh, something, something else that you could uh, add uh, to this setup, depending on the, what's the firmware of your hand controller, is a, the GPS. Uh, is something like this, and this uh, GPS, um, you connect it, you plug it into the hand controller, and um, it's very useful, very handy. Okay, so let me turn the mount uh, off. And that's basically a short uh, demonstration of uh, the payload uh, capability of this mount. I'm not going to do um, a, a review of this mount. There, there is a lot of reviews of uh, this mount uh, on the YouTube and other channels. But uh, all I wanted to do is to share my, uh, my experience uh, with this particular mount. Okay. Okay, uh, here is, uh, I have um, the QHY163C. Uh, it's a color uh, called uh, CMOS uh, camera that I had uh, for quite a while but I only tested uh, about two weeks ago and uh, very happy with the results uh, that, I, that I got with this camera. I capture about uh, 17 subs of 60 seconds of the trapezium in the Orion uh, Nebula and I am very pleased. No, no darks, uh, no uh, flats or anything like that. I'm going to show you now here my um, planetary camera which is uh, Skydis 236 monochrome and um, and I have uh, captured beautiful uh, planetary images uh, using this uh, camera and I hope to start using it soon for uh, Mars and uh, the QHY for um, for galaxies because uh, it is uh, galaxy season coming up uh, well it is already here uh, I just have to wait for a clear night Okay, folks, uh, that's it. Um, just uh, my brief experience of the Orion Atlas EQG uh, equatorial mount. And uh, I hope this answered the questions uh, that I have received in the past regarding the payload capacity and if this mount is capable of handling a C11. Okay, guys, um, stay healthy, uh, stay safe, and clear skies.